Hi guys, Riaz here from Blades and Triggers and welcome back. So today I've got these green color boxes and um, yeah, to denote the fact that they're airsoft. Um, they're from a company called ASG or the ASG products in the normal pistols that we get in or the 4.5 millimeter pistols come in white boxes and um, quite nicely they've obviously went and changed the color of the, the airsoft boxes so you see these bright green boxes which denote airsoft. So I've got the Strike System X18 Commando on my right, the Dan Wesson revolver for a little bit of a difference, the 715 4 inch revolver, and I've got pretty much a classic, your shadow in urban gray. So we're gonna be looking at two things, besides necessarily just the features of the, of the pistol. They are all CO2. So we're gonna be taking a look at the velocity on a 0.20 gram PB, and um, yeah, checking what it's all about. So stay tuned and let's take a look at these airsoft pistols. All right, so first up, we've got the Commando X18 um, from ASG and quite a nice feeling gun, or quite a nice looking gun for that matter. Um, embossed grips all around and a, quite a cool feature on an embossment on the top end of the, the slide or the below the slide itself. Your slide pretty much looks very similar to either a Glock or a CZ take and um, on the top end a fiber optic sight on the front over here. Um, the cool thing about the pistol is that it has a 24 round magazine, it comes with a CO2 magazine and that's the reason why we're going to be testing the velocity on this specific one. Out of the box, it's rated at 0.9 joules. So they recommend that your velocity, standard velocity is around about 309 foot per second. And we're going to be checking that. All right, so let's move on to the next pistol. And okay, before we do that, just to, know, just to let you know what obviously comes in the box, um, you get your standard Allen key as well as your basic operating manual. So let's set this aside. <clears throat> Next up, we're gonna be taking a look at the shadow, in urban gray. And again, this is also a blowback a blowback action. In that box you'll also get your set of allen keys and um, we've also incorporated a replacement sight. So let's take a look at, at what that's all about. It'll come nicely packaged in with what of plastic film and noticeable difference between the two. The CZ SP1 Shadow, quite a nice weighty pistol your slide itself, quite good feeling. So the full makeup on the gun and compared to the X18 to, to the CZ is that you've got a full metal frame as well as full metal slide on the SP01 Shadow. Um, going back quickly to <clears throat> your sight itself that you get replaced, a replacement sight, this is a bit of a lower profile sight as well as a fiber optic front sight that you replace the standard ones with <clears throat> and you get a threaded tip on the front end and likewise a co2 magazine with the cz as well but well over and all quite a nice feel that's rated at around what one joule and we're going to be taking a look at the velocity on that specific one Don't you just like that sound quite a nice feel to this pistol um, Setting that one aside, let's take a look at the Dan Wesson. All right, so if you want a bit of a, a classical feel, the Dan Wesson, uh, four inch, the 715 revolver. In the box, you'll get a, uh, a, a quick, uh, sorry, man. lost my words there. Speed loader. 
uh, a speed loader with it you get your allen key in the box as well as this bad boy so yeah quite a nice feel to the pistol itself nicely weighted quite a nice solid reminds you of a, a typical revolver detailing on the rifle on the pistol itself 357 magnum so that's what you see on there and just the basic hammer and off you go so it comes with your standard six shells which on each shell holds your your bb and uh, pretty much likewise on all this pistols itself it does have your hop-up adjustments uh, where you can actually change it for different ranges for that matter on this one over here your gas cylinder fits in the handle and that's just actually activated by allen key so let's get started we'll gas all these pistols up and then check what velocity reading we're going to get out of them all all right all right so we've got the revolver loaded with some bbs as well as gas and yeah let's check what the velocity reading i get out of this all right sure a little bit high on the on the revolver you're looking at around about 500 foot per second uh 525 to be exact so yeah about 1.6 joule quite high on this one so there's a possibility that that might not be feel legal and then i've got the 0 0.9 joule the commando up next let's see what velocity i get okay shucks it only picked it up now the chronograph didn't pick it up on the first two shots i've got the velocity of around about 331 foot per second quite a nice kick recoil to the specific one as well you saw it in the with the chronograph and then uh, last but not least the cz75 spo1 shadow check what velocity i'm getting out of this all right so quite consistent around about 340 foot per second on this and they're all shooting 0.20 gram bbs so quite interesting even though we've obviously got co2 in them they're quite consistent within the pistols the revolver might not as i mentioned might not be feel legal all right cool that's for the velocity check oh well, there we have it uh sort of a basic comparison between the three new s of pistols that we actually got in um two of them as mentioned definitely should be quite cool and feel legal whereas the revolver mm, a bit of a massive gray area there shooting quite high in terms of velocity wise but other than that quite awesome pistols realistic is one thing um your dan weston quite nice as well x18 commando pretty decent but yeah what tops it off for me is the sp01 the shadow quite nice and realistic blowback pretty decent and um, yeah just says it all you can pick any one of these these three pistols up at bntonline.co.za or the link below alternatively shop visit any of our 13 stores um, to pick any one of them up don't forget to like and subscribe with the bell notification up above and i'll see you on the next one